hill. Oh, this is a, probably the steepest one I've been on so far, actually. It's pretty tough. On July 5th and the seventh day of my trip, I biked from Portsmouth, Ohio to Wilmington, Ohio, a distance of 80.7 miles. It was a uh, trip that uh, involved lots of rain and hills and uh, lots and lots of dogs. I hate dogs. Anyway, uh, the clip you're currently watching is actually the other side of the uh, hill that I was biking up in the previous clip um, where I actually hit about 40 miles per hour going down it. Um, as you can see I'm slowly accelerating up to about 40 there and I actually hit 40. Um, and uh, that was a lot of fun. It was kind of kind of uh, scary in a way because it was raining but I was able to maintain control pretty well so it was that's pretty nice. This clip shows how uh, most people deal with a slow-moving cyclist biking out on the main road with a slow-moving car following behind with their hazard lights on. They pass in no passing zones. Hello, I'm uh, out front of the Colony Theater in Hillsboro, Ohio. Um, this is where the Redding Brothers actually came to play several years ago. We actually came to play here a few few times. Well, what happened is after the uh, after the basketball games, all of the high schoolers would uh, change out of their formal attire into their uh, their gothic attire, or their goth attire, and uh, and come and jam to heavy metal and the Redding Brothers. So. Yeah, as usual, we were the, uh, the odd ones out, but it was a building. Finally, I was able to make my way to Wilmington. Hey guys, I am in Wilmington, Ohio. I just biked here from Portsmouth. Uh, it's 80.7 miles, and uh, I'm going to show you guys what I do every evening to keep my legs from getting sore or from being sore the next morning. The uh, <clears throat> ice bath. Basically, I've got a tub of cold water that I've just run here, nice and cold, and a ice chest full of ice. Ooh. And uh, so basically, what I'm going to do is take this bucket of ice. Dump it into the water, and now I get to sit in it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Whoa! Ah, nice and cold. Ouch! Lots of fun. Now I just have to sit here and bear that for the next uh, quarter hour. Anyways. Hello. This is kind of a long climb, isn't it? Mm hmm. All right. I'm in Ohio on my way to uh, Indiana. Left Wilmington. Now I've got this is actually a, a fairly short day. I think it's 67 miles. I've probably come what 20, I think, so far. And uh, this is the biggest hill I've encountered so far. Most of it has been pretty flat. <coughs> There's lots of traffic, so who knows how long it's going. of the day looked uh, pretty much like this. I was trying to get it done pretty quickly though because the next day was my rest day. I spent most of my rest day watching videos on YouTube on how to do backflips 
and Michael Jackson specials on ABC. I did, however, go get my bike tuned up at Cycling and Fitness Warehouse. Those guys are really awesome and really hooked me up. They straightened my bent rim, gave me extra bike parts, gave me cliff bars, and all kinds of stuff. It was amazing. You should definitely go check them out at cyclingandfitnesswarehouse.com. And if you're ever in Richmond, Indiana, you know, and you need some bike work or anything like that, definitely go give those guys a uh, look. Hello. We are leaving Richmond, Indiana. And I am on Indiana 38 for the next 97 miles, 92 miles, actually. Very broad, uh, Somewhere we missed a turn and I biked several miles off course, so then I got to get in the car and uh, wait around and try weird things like energy gel until we got back on course. I'm about to try carb boom to uh, boost my energy for the next 20 miles that I have to do today. It's apple cinnamon flavored energy gel. And I've never tried this stuff before so uh, this could be interesting. <laughs> Interesting is definitely a word for it. It's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of like the consistency of syrup. Maybe a tiny bit thicker than syrup. But tastes like candied apple, cinnamon, something or other. Not something I would just choose to eat for fun. It's not bad, it's just very different. It's very strange. Alright. Kinda hard to get down. Uh, nine miles to go before I'm done. This is a pretty long day, 92 miles. The nice thing about out here is it's pretty flat as you can see. So it's easy to maintain, you know, about 15 without working your heart too hard. Or, yeah, working yourself too hard. But, uh, you can actually, I actually got up to about 30 a minute ago, but uh, that's kind of hard to maintain when you've been biking, you know, 80 miles all day. But uh, maybe one day I'll be able to average 30 miles an hour across the whole U.S., huh? Anyway. So now I'm just getting a, you know, rest and a drink before the sprint for the finish. Frankfurt, Indiana, and this is our hotel. Currently under renovation.